Say yo, it's your boy J J J J J J J J G Soldier. Let's crack it like a man. Make sure y'all hit the like button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Hit all the great buttons, man. Once again, like I always like to say, I like to give thanks and praises to all my subscribers, man. I appreciate y'all. Without y'all, I wouldn't be climbing up, and y'all know I'm building my channel brick by brick. So, like I said, always salute. A G soldier salute to the subscribers who rock near me. Salute to the haters who just subscribe just to hate. Salute to all that. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. But today, man, y'all already know what we're here to talk about, man. Charlie Clips versus A Ward is going down on I Do What I Want card by Remy Ma Chrome 23. Y'all already know the main event is Geechee Gotti versus is uh easy to block cap. Y'all already know I'm waiting to see that, man. It's going to be a great one. But I want to talk about another match that is on the card that a lot of people ain't been talking about. You already know since Max Out 3, um, a lot of people ain't really been. It seemed like everything else been quiet, man. I mean, a promotion on Max Out 3, salute to Averb. Man, he gave crazy, great promotion, man. It's like now it's just like it got died down again. I don't know if they doing a face off. I want to see a face off between Easy the Black Captain and Geechee Gotti. Man, y'all cannot have a card of this magnitude, well, a match of this magnitude, and not have a face off between these two brothers. So I hope Remy Ma, please, please do a face off between these two brothers. I want to see that, and that definitely will even sell the pay per view more. But anyway, we about to talk about a war versus Charlie Clips, and I think. This is a sleeper battle. I think this this might even be battle of the night from these two gentlemen, you know, especially with what a war just did uh, with, you know, battling a verb. They had a great classic to me. To me, that was a classic battle. Um, a lot of people look at might look at a ward as like, OK, you just spent all your energy on a verb. So he ain't going to have what it takes for Charlie Cliffs. But if y'all know a ward, he been doing this. Like forever, he been having two battles here, two battles every two weeks. Then he do something here, so uh, I think he will be prepared for this battle. Like I've never seen a war choke slip. Uh, the freestyle is gonna be on point. Uh, I think the rhythm is gonna be on point. I think uh, a war probably won't see it, but I think even as this battle with Aver taught him something and pushed him to a different level of writing. Um, you know, I think you leave out of every battle like me even being a foreign, former battle rapper, I think you leave out of every battle learning something, you know, if the opponent is good. Now, if you just battle somebody trash, you know, hey, you just body them, you know. But even if you get body, man, you know what I'm saying? I think you learn something. You, know, you take away something from each battle you have. So, really, I, don't, I never seen a war get pushed to the limit that Aver, you know, put him in with all the antagonizing um, just uh, constantly every single day calling them song man and talking about his moms and just all these different type of things saying he wasn't a real Christian and where city he from you know Aver really pushed A War to the limit to where we got one of the greatest line you know the 40 on your BA you know what I'm saying like crazy so uh so I really think he took something away from this Aver battle as as far as writing and uh, being aggressive and all this. So Charlie Clips, um, speaking of Charlie Clips, y'all already know Charlie Clips has been on a tear lately. Also, you can tell Charlie Clips is doing more writing than playing around because, you know, Charlie used like to play around and just give you sometime one round of freestyle, two rounds and all this type of stuff. But Charlie has been on it. I think Charlie been hearing the, not the rumors, been hearing the, uh, comments from the fans and all this type of stuff. I think he's like, he know that people's tired of him playing and everything. And he's been doing great in his last couple battles, even against Rosenberg, Raw, and everything. Like, 
he really has not been playing. And you already know he did the thing. <laughs> he the one exposed Raw or whatever, saying he was going to URL. But, uh, yeah, Charlie ha has been on his A game. So, looking at both these brothers, um, especially, you know, they battled before. They did a one-rounder, which, you know, we can't really judge one-rounders because – I look at it as the other person, you know, when y'all do hit each other, the other person doesn't get an opportunity to fight back. You say somebody go first, then you hit them, you know what I'm saying? Like, bam, okay, it's it's like a battle, like boxing. You got to get your lick back, you know, pause. If there's a pause, man, we don't say pause to St. Louis up at this piece. But, you know, like, just like if you're in a boxing match, you don't see a one-round boxing match and – after the first round, you'd be like, okay, or the first two rounds, you'd be like, all right, that's over. No, you get to go back and forth. That's why we like three round battles because you got to see who stands the, the test, you know, who can uh, even fight back, even if you get down bad and all this type of stuff. So we saw that one rounder, but I think, especially with this being Chrome 23, I think both of them has something to prove in this battle. Like, especially with Remy Ma, you know, they're going to want to get booked again. Uh, Awar had a crazy showing his last time on Chrome 23 against Vixen, uh, where he, you know, clear, he cleared Vixen, you know what I'm saying, 30 there. Um, so, man, I think this is going to be a great match. Who will I think is going to win? I will have to give the edge to Awar because only because Awar is more consistent than Clip. Like I said, Clips. Even though he probably might have two rounds, of, you know, he tends to venture off, you know, sometimes and just freestyle, period. So I don't know how prepared he will be. I know I think ARP made him last time in the contract. He was like, hey, no freestyling. So I think that's the only reason Clips, even though he did like a little freestyle, I think that's the only reason that Clips did not really freestyle in the ARP battle because it was in the contract. Now, as far as Chrome 23, I don't know if that's in the contract. If it's not, we could see a lot of freestyling from Clips. And, you know, Clips is dope with his freestyles, but sometimes it could fall flat. And then we already know Clips, uh, he like the cheat codes, you know. It's hard to beat him, especially when he joking and laugh. You know, when he try to joke and laugh with you, that's part of his mental game that he likes to play also with his opponent like <laughs> yeah that was how you did it you know like playing around to diffuse what they are doing to, or attempting to do to him in the ring as far as the you know breaking down vicious wordplay and everything so i think both of them gonna have crazy rebuttals um so it's gonna come down to the writing to me and i just think a ward is a little more consistent uh than clips like i said i think clips Clips might be playing a lot, man. And you cannot play with A Ward. And like I said, I think A Ward learned something with this verb battle. Uh, I think he took some way more aggressive. So they first run, you know, the first time they did the one round better battle, it was just a good battle to me. But I think this is gonna be dope, especially in front of, I guess, the crowd. They they're gonna be in a Philly crowd too, I think. So it's gonna be crazy. And you know, we didn't see A Ward go to Compton. Uh, going against Gichi Gotti and get that love. So, uh, man, I, I still think it's going to be a dope battle, but I have A Ward 2 1, not clear, but 2 1 in the edge, you know. Um, yeah, man, what y'all think, man? Do Who y'all think going to win this battle? Do you think Clips is going to be A Ward or do you think A Ward is going to be Clips? I don't know. Should be a dope battle, though. I don't know what to expect. Like I said, uh, the promotion for this dog has to be up, man. We haven't really got no promotion except the promos that Remy Ma have been dropping. That's it for real. I don't see the battle rappers promo. I, I see Easy and Geechee, you know, doing a little Twitter and uh, Instagram uh, promo. But man, I want to see some face offs, man. I want to, you know, let's get us amp up in this, man. Make us want to buy this pay per view. And please do not do no more $75 pay per view. Or sixty dollars up in this bed. Better look. I bought the max out three for sixty dollars. That was bad enough. But when they went up to seventy five, man, I pray for everybody who just had to get. Who paid that? Shut up! Shut up on Griffey. Paid those seventy five. I don't want to pay it no more. Shut up! I don't want to pay no seventy five dollars for my pay per view. But yo, they got four battles. I'm gonna uh, talk about the other two battles they got going on also. So. 
Yeah, man, that's all I got to say. Listen, man, make sure y'all tap in. Like I said, salute to my subscribers. Go check out all the great content I got. I got a lot of interviews with some great celebrities, play from Kid and Play, um, Kiwan and Ali from the St. Lunatics. You know, Ali said he wrote you know, the whole country grammar album. Man, y'all got to check that out. Um, who else? I got Chris Style from Players Club. She played Ronnie. Brenda's from Brenda's got a baby. Got Victor Norman himself. I got uh Dwayne from What's Happening. Uh got Jennifer Lewis, man. Y'all already know Jennifer Lewis, the one so many awards, man. I got Liso from The Wire. Man, I got a lot of people, man. Make sure y'all go tap in with your boy, man. And stay tuned. Y'all already know I'm writing, directing movies, doing commercials, businesses, all this type of stuff, man. So listen, I'm gonna keep on doing the great content and check out my uh hip hip hop panel I'm doing for the 50th year of your hip hop. Uh, put up a piece of one on where we they was talking about sexy red. So go check that out. It was an interesting convo. But uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say today, man. Salute to y'all again. Thank y'all once again. And I'm out this piece. Y'all already know what I rock with y'all. It's your boy, G G G G G G G G G Soldier Bars. All right, people. I'll talk to you. <laughs>